Okay, so let's have a look at this sample question in how to calculate the balance of payments and the balance of trade. So the question says, the following data relates to international trade of a country for the year. So we've got visible imports. These are goods that we can actually see. They're physical goods, they're tangible goods. We import them from other countries, for example, like cars. Invisible exports then are um, items or services that we would sell to other countries. For example, Spanish students coming here to learn English. Visible exports are physical goods that we would export from Ireland, for example, dairy and milk. And invisible imports will be imports that we can't see the sort of services. So it will be the likes of Irish people going on holiday abroad. So we're asked to, from the above data, calculate the balance of payments and the balance of trade. So we need to know the formula for balance of payments and for balance of trade and indicate in each case whether it is a surplus or a deficit. Now remember, exports are good. We want to have loads of exports. So if our exports are higher than our imports, it's a surplus. A deficit then is where your imports are higher than your exports. So remember that when we import goods, the money leaves the country. When we export goods, the money enters the country. So let's have a look at the balance of payments then. So your formula for balance of payments is your total exports minus your total imports. Now your total exports are made up of your visible exports plus your invisible exports. And your total imports are made up of your visible imports plus your invisible imports. So what we're going to do is we're going to find how much our visible exports are find out how much our invisible exports are, add the two of them together to get your total exports. Then we're going to find out how much our visible imports are, find out how much our invisible imports are, add the two of them together to get your total imports. So now we've got our total exports and our total imports, and we're going to take those two away from each other to get the balance of payments. Now, if we get a plus figure, that means our exports are higher than your imports, so it's a surplus. And if you get a minus figure, then that means your imports are higher than your exports, so you get a deficit. So let's have a look. This is our information here. So we need to identify our visible exports. So our visible exports are 1,873 million. So we're going to fill this in over here in our table. So 1,873 million. The next item we need are our invisible exports. So our So our invisible exports then are 1,735 million. So we add these two together to get our total exports. So in your calculator, we're going to put 1,873 plus 1,735. So our total exports then are, once I find my calculator, 3,608. So 3,608. So you just make this all neat and tidy. Now we need to find our visible imports. So our visible imports are 1,695 million. And our invisible imports then are 1,569 million. So to get our total imports then, we're going to add these two together. So in your calculator, add them together. So 1,695 plus 1,569. So we're going to get 3,000. 264. So 3,264. Now we've got our total exports. So 3,608. We've got our total imports. 3,264. 
So for your balance of payments, you're going to take your total exports away from your total imports. So we're going to take 3,608 away from 3,264. So in your calculator, 3,608 minus 3,264. So you get 344 million. So we know if it's a plus, we can see it here anyway that our exports are higher. So that is going to be a surplus. If this was a minus, that would mean that our exports are higher, so it'll be a deficit. So our balance of payments then is a surplus of 334 million. So the balance of trade then, the second part of A, calculate the balance of trade. Now trade is where you trade in actual physical goods, and we know physical goods are visible exports and visible imports because you can actually see them. So your balance of trade is the difference between your visible exports and your visible imports. So we're going to identify what are our visible exports from the list here and what are our visible imports from the list here. Take them away from each other. And if your exports are higher, it's a surplus. And if your imports are higher, it's a deficit. So let's have a look. So visible exports. So our visible exports are 1,873. And our visible imports, visible imports, 1,695. And as I said, we want to take the imports away from the exports. Let's see what we get. We can see anyway that our exports are higher, so it's going to be a surplus. But how much of a surplus is it going to be? So just put those two figures into your calculator. So 1,873 minus 1,695. So we're going to get 178 million, and that is a surplus. So remember, your exports are always going to be first. So your exports are always going to be first because the money comes into the country for our exports. So you want our exports to be higher. So remember, the two things that you need for your balance of payments and your balance of trades, you need to know these two formulas. So your balance of payments, total exports minus total imports. Your total exports are made up of your visible and invisible exports. Your total imports are made up of your visible and invisible imports. And then your balance of trade is when we take our visible exports, take away our visible imports, and that's going to give us your balance of trade figure. If it's a surplus, your exports are always higher. And if it's a deficit, your imports are always higher.